Hi guys, so I'm filming this first clip the next morning after I'd already done my first beauty treatment. So I think most of my holiday prep is just going to be, you know, beauty treatments and little things that I've already did for Sardinia. Maybe a couple new products or something, so we'll see. But I'm probably going to do a second sheet mask, so I wasn't too fast about giving you guys like a really thorough review about this one because, yeah, it's not even one of my favorites. It's just a random one I had for years, but it is from Tony Moly. Is that how you pronounce it? Tony Moly, um, which is a pretty quite well renowned Korean skincare brand. You guys have probably heard of it it's everywhere in the UK as well now. It's the Skin Purifying Seaweed Sheet Mask. Really aesthetic packaging, very, very, very cute. It's probably geared more towards younger skin. Obviously, it's a bit more like younger, more childish packaging, but also the purifying is more for acne prone skin, which luckily I haven't had any breakouts lately. Like my skin does look quite hydrated and healthy and smooth at the moment. And fingers crossed, yeah, manifesting that it stays that way. But yeah, it was a pretty good mask. It wasn't amazing, but as you can see, there are no like side effects, no redness, no, yeah, no like sensitivity issues at all. It didn't sting, it didn't leave any red patches, it didn't aggravate any kind of redness that I already had prior to that. So I do think it worked quite well. My skin is perhaps a little bit more kind of clear and soothed in a way where it has been purified, like perhaps my pores appear a little bit tighter and smoother, um, you know, sebaceous filaments perhaps in my nose, you know, around the pores are a little better. So yeah, overall, perhaps a little bit of a difference, nothing crazy. And, you know, it's not my favorite brand. They're not cruelty free, so I won't repurchase them. And I actually received the mask for free. So that's why I even had it, but I just had to use it up. And I thought purifying would be a good one to use before a holiday. Hey guys, so this is the next part of my little beauty routine. It's now minus one, T minus one day, wait, is that correct? Yeah, T minus one day, so I'm leaving tomorrow, and what, by the time you're seeing this, I'll probably have already come back, but I'm doing my little pore strip now. I did one a couple days ago, but I just wanted to really get my nose and T-zone area just really smooth, and this is the Boots Tea Tree and Witch Hazel ones, and they work really, really well, I think. They're my favorites, because they're super cheap, cruelty-free, most probably vegan as well, because Boots, yeah, don't test on animals, I think. Their own brand is usually always vegan unless it's collagen or something, but they work really well. You, the trick is to have dry skin, not like after a shower, just wet your nose area, let it, let the water drip down a little bit when it's just still a little wet, and then press down on the thing with a towel, like press it really hard on, not like really hard, but like, you know what I mean? Like press it very thoroughly onto your nose. And yeah, that usually gets out all the sebaceous filaments and makes my nose just, gets rid of the blackheads basically. So yeah, you guys will, I guess you'll just see my skin in like a few future clips, a few seconds from now. I'm not gonna do an after of this, but trust me, it does remove a lot. <laughs> I've done my holiday pedicure. So normally feet are really gross, but I actually think I did quite a good job considering I did these myself and I have just these cute little Primark slippers and I'm about to fake tan, so just ignore if my skin looks a bit splotchy, I just exfoliated, but yeah, I just thought a really classic, simple French pedicure would look really nice for pictures and just with a tan and yeah, aesthetically they're really pretty. This is currently like my favorite go-to if I'm ever going on holiday or wearing sandals, I just do this. So next I'll show you a little clip of my actual nails and then just a few other little beauty treatments I've done. So this is my hand, little handbag for hand luggage, just the most important things, money and passport, things like that. And it's just a little Primark bag and because it's basically a crossbody, has a really long, um, what's it called? Well, it has a really long this. I can kind of wear it as a crossbody. It's a little more safe and secure and it's separate from to do this bag, which is obviously my hand luggage. We are not doing um, checked in luggage, which we just paid for Ryanair. It was a really cheap, um, good value deal. So yeah, we just have good old hand luggage. And this is an amazing Victoria's Secret handbag that has these cute little tassels that literally fits everything. It's perfect for travel. If you are okay and you're comfortable with, you know, being able to carry it in an open bag, it's obviously meant as like a weekend travel bag anyway, because it's so large. 
then yeah, it works fine. It's always been safe and secure and that's why I have this separate bag for any other like actual valuable items. So I've just piled up all my clothes here. If you can tell, there's like a little pile of tops and this is a really gorgeous uh, Chinese silk dress. Um, I have another pair of shorts and then I have this Primark hair clip that I'm bringing with me. Oh, and these are my nails. I forgot to show you guys, sorry. Um, the lighting here is really weird. It tried, they're not orange, they're coming up orange on camera, but yeah, they're this really cute blue and white design. I just, they're just from Shein, so I literally apply them myself. So easy to apply, really cheap, and I think they're really pretty for travel. So anyway, I have this little Primark hair clip. I also have a little hair scrunchie. So if I need to put my hair up during the day or whatever, I have this. Then I do have a, you might be able to see down there, um, it's my iPhone charger with the converter. And then here is a little sneak peek of my products. So I have a hand cream uh, from m and a Clinique concealer, the Emma Hardy Moringa cleansing butter, Dolce & Gabbana light blue perfume, Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, and on the other side, just get a better look. My friend just recently got me this for my birthday, the Body Shop Rosy Dewy Glow Face Mist. It's really refreshing, like a really strong mist. So I thought during the day that would be fun for me and my friends if we get too hot. A hand sanitizer, of course, and my Body Shop SPF. It's the, well, it's SPF 50 and they only have a couple, but this one is amazing. Me and my mom were using it. It's really, really good. And then in here, so that was my liquids bag just so I can easily pop it out. Here, I don't believe I have any liquids in the second one. I have a little pouch with my face soap. That's just to cleanse my face. It's really easy and it's of course a solid a lipstick. It's like a coral, bright coral shade. You'll see it in my vlog. A little toothbrush that's in its original packaging. Two makeup brushes just for my cheeks and eyes. Very, very minimal on makeup. A Murad Intense Recovery Cream. It's a little mini right here. And then a Makeup Revolution palette for the cheeks. As you can see, it's this kind of shimmery, bronzy palette and a Too Faced Cat Eyes palette. And then finally here, it's just my deodorant. And yeah, they're all solid, so I hope, I hope they don't stop me. I mean, I can't think of anything that's actually in the liquid form there, so I should be fine. And then here, gorgeous pair of Tom Ford sunglasses I just bought. I actually got them on eBay. But yeah, it comes in this like really pretty velvet pouch, which is already perfect for travel so they won't get damaged. And again, you'll see them properly in vlogs, but this is a little sneak peek. Gorgeous little tortoise shell design. And I've just popped that down the edge of the bag here. It should be quite safe and secure. And then here on this side down here, is all my bikinis. Well, I say all, I only brought two and I'm hoping that's okay. I'm hoping that's enough and they fit and everything. And then a little sarong wrap here in case I wanna use that. And now final, so that's pretty much like 80, 90% of everything I'd be putting in there. Now, just twisting over here, this is what I'm wearing. It's a little white tank top and I might bring a jumper with me just in case, but the day we're traveling, it's really hot. So I'll see, I might be okay with that. These nice little high-waisted shorts and then these cute Primark sandals. So very simple, all black and white, quite chic if you ask me. And yeah, now I will take you quickly to the bathroom because I forgot to show you guys. So this is the fig tan I'm about to apply. Bondi Sands Aero. I just got this on Amazon actually because I really felt like I needed to get a, um, what do you call it? Yeah, like Amazon Prime next day delivery of this because I was running low on my other Bondi sand and all my other fake tans. I didn't want to risk anything or be different colors. So I thought I'd just buy a whole new um, whole new one. It's vegan, cruelty free, it smells a bit coconutty, so it's better than the usual fake tan. It's aerated, it's a foam consistency, it's just amazing. And it gives you a really nice deep tan. So what I just used on my hair is this hair mask when I just took a shower. It's the Lee Stafford Coco Coco Loco <laughs> with Agave Nectar Coconut Shine Mask. So as you can imagine, it's very hydrating, moisturizing, adds shine to your hair. Again, cruelty free, vegan. Um, they say vegetarian friendly, but obviously there's no animal derivative in here. And it smells like coconut, of course. So I thought what better time to open that than before a holiday. Just a couple more products I've used. 
the Saint Tropez Everyday Face Cream, medium dark. Don't be put off by the medium dark, it's really not that crazy. I just applied it now overnight, and depending on how dark it comes out in the morning, I will apply a second layer, just so that it matches my body, and you know, less makeup, blah blah blah, I look better. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a normal gradual tan, it says gradual tan classic. It does say medium to dark, but it really is buildable, it's not a crazy orange colour, so if you do want to test this out before travel, I do highly recommend it. And again, it is also cruelty free. And now, finally, I think that's my final product to show you guys, I use the Watermelon Sugar Lip Scrub from Lush. It's got a really pretty green and pink. I mean, it doesn't really taste much like watermelon, but it does taste really sweet, smells a tiny bit like watermelon, and obviously it just keeps my lips really smooth because I'm not... Um, you know, doing much with makeup and stuff. And yeah, sorry to, to, to keep you guys on the wall.